Um, so we're your Cambodian dance instructors, and so we're gonna make like a little uh, quick video so that you guys can watch and like practice on your own. Um, so to my right is my name is Peter. I'm one of your instructors, and we're gonna be showing you um, Cambodian traditional stretches. Um, most of you too, and yeah, we're gonna be showing you some stretches right now. So. So for our first stretch, we're going to be sitting in a double attitude where your legs is laying down as if you were into some type of temple or how will I explain this in the no term? Um, one leg pulled, the other leg pulled to one side. Um, your toes would be flexed up like this, right? But like obviously you're sitting down and your back is going to be straight and your shoulders are going to be rounded back. Right. And from here on, you gotta lift your left hand up and the lear, which is when your wrist is curved back, fingers curved back, push back. You're gonna pull it on your left knee. Left wrist, left knee. From here on, you're gonna have your right hand grab your fin your four fingers, thumb wrap around and pull back. The whole goal of the stretch is to um, stretch out your wrist and fingertips backwards. While your back is nice and up, shoulders down, facing forward. and the teacher will clap for us to transition to our next step. Put both hands down in front of you, push off, put your legs around. Same thing on the other side. Right hand up, grab with your left, bend your wrist back, sit nice and tall, press it down on your right knee, shoulders back, and stretch. So how long do we need to stretch, Chad, for each step? Probably like 20, 25 seconds, I'd say. From here on, you're gonna have both feet flat on the ground. Sit up nice and tall. Have your left arm extended straight. You want the back of your elbow, your elbow, right on your left knee. You're still extending your arms out. Your right leg will come over, which right over your left wrist. Sit up nice and tall, flex your foot back. Now you need your right hand to grab your left fingers and pull back. Again. Pull your toes back, flex your toes, and your back is straight, and your shoulders are down. Same thing on the other side. Right arm straight, place on your right knee, left foot over, left hand, grab your right fingers, pull back. So the whole point of the stretch is to stretch out your elbow and to make sure your wrist is stretching as well. From here on, you're gonna put both your feet together, still standing up, knees up, put your hands together, cross them, turn it out, stretch out, extend. Put both your elbows inside your knees, inside your legs, between your legs. You wanna be able to have your knees Push onto your elbows and sitting up nice and tall, having your shoulders down. The goal of this stretch is to touch your elbows, but as you can see, my fellow instructor here cannot touch his elbows because he's not good at his job. <laughs> so, feet together, hands together, elbows locked. Pushing out your knees and look straight forward. Make sure your back is straight and try to push your arms and shoulders towards your hips. Mm -hmm. For next step, we call this the lowest. I'm not too sure if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. I, for me, I put my right foot over my left knee, my left hip, push my right knee down, have my left ankle come all the way over to my right hip and push my left knee down. The hands on your hip, so I'm nice and tall. And when you're like, 
I, I usually need like a few seconds to uh, like relax, to chill out, to get used to it. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to uh, like get used to it. And if that is too difficult, you want your feet together, set it up into a butterfly, like this. Okay. And if you're able to do that, you want to lean your body forward. Okay. So your hips is pushing against the ground and you're stretching out your pelvic out. And for those who can't do it, you may have a friend or partner at your house, family member to come over and push their knees down as Chad would demonstrate to me. And as he's pushing, you want to be able to breathe, inhale and exhale. And you could do this for a good 20 seconds or so. And then we gotta do the same thing. Well, before you do that, you gotta spin. So counterclockwise, left shoulder back. And then you're gonna lay back if you're capable of it. Hands behind your head. And then your back should be arching, right? Should be arching. So I should somebody should be able to seek their hand. Underneath your back, like that, and then not put you back. 